Namaste teachers. We will show you how to take Creative Common License. How to get it? It's very easy process. It's just a, it's just required two minutes. So just go to Creative Common website. Then uh, click on what we do. Then you will see the description. Then click on Creative Common License. Then you will come over here. Here you will find many the six types of the Creative Common license. I have explained the the meaning of all these six types of license in my first video. So when the video when this information ends, then the option comes choosing a license. So you need to click on creative common license chooser remember even uh, you come to at this point from any ways by clicking on different sites or different points in the website but you, remember you need to come over here creative common license chooser here you need to get a license but before getting to uh, go to the license now you should remember that this license license cannot be cancelled later on remember once you Put this license to your learning material that will be permanently forever you cannot change it you cannot revoke it you cannot make it cancel okay it will be forever so think about your learning material whether you want to make it open for all ever uh, for all the time then only you go for the cc licensing otherwise you uh, don't go for cc licensing you go for the copyright and what material you are showing uh, the sharing and you are getting the license about it it should be your own work it should be original work and you should own it you cannot download someone's ppt someone's video or you cannot collect so many uh, information from net and then collect it and just compose it and then present and publish it so in that case you cannot have the right to uh, publish it and even to get the license so it should be uh, your original work and second you should be agreed to apply this license forever you cannot change it you cannot revoke it so remember where to go creative common license user okay when you click over here you will come on this side and this is the page where you will get the license now only you will have to answer these two questions then you will see what license you are selected and the link of the license is created here over here just copy and paste uh to the material where you where you are going to publish so remember if you, uh, when you want to get a license cc license you don't need to register you don't need to uh, apply you don't need to log in you don't need to pay you don't need to donate okay just come over on this side just answer these two questions and the link the license link will be generated and you just post it to the videos or the powerpoint description where what and where you want to publish it you don't need to mention the type of learning material or the the, the title of the learning material the website that you are going to publish nothing nothing just select the type of the license and the link will be generated just post in the respective learning material okay so coming over here this is completely free you don't need to give any kind of money uh, for it okay just you are coming you came from here this is the license selector okay so what is there are two questions asked you need to answer these two questions so they will generate the license first allowed adoption of your work to be shared so what uh, you are sharing do you agree to make the adoption in that work if you agree then click on yes if you don't want adoptions you don't want changes then you said no and if you want to uh, accept the adoption uh, in the format then you can click on uh, as long as others share alike so first thing is suppose i am sharing this ppt i am uploading this ppt here and i want to take the license of cc for this ppt so when i click yes so it means allow adaptions so one can download this ppt they can make the changes 
they can type their own name and they can use this ppt as their own name or they can simply copy all the matter from the slideshow and they can paste into the word file and they can write a research paper on it or they can convert it into the research paper with their own name and they can do it so in this way they can not only change the content but they can they can change the format even so they can they can convert the ppt into the word file or into the ppt file if allowing yes if i am saying no they then they cannot make any change in this ppt okay they need to uh, they cannot change the content of it and even then they cannot uh, convert this ppt into pdf or word file or anything else they cannot make a single change in the content and they cannot change a ppt into other form so this is no yes as long as they share alike it means they can uh, they can download this ppt and they can they can uh, use this ppt they can convert this ppt into pdf file or word file but they cannot change the content so when i am clicking on share alike it means they cannot change the content but yes they can change the format so if they decide they can prepare a video and it and they can publish it so they can change the con they can change the format or the uh, file or the nature of the uh, technology but they cannot change the content so i am clicking adoption so i am allowing yes so what is second question allow commercial use of your work now you decide what to do whether that your ppt or video that should be used commercially yes or no you decide i decided no so when i answer this question so this is the license they are showing i have selected this license so attribute non commercial 40 so these icons are changing it's showing that it has a common a creative common license and taken by me and non commercial purpose so these are the restriction if i change here this file suddenly the uh, the license change i selected uh, change the options and my answers you will find the license nature of the license change so uh, the license changes as per your answers so i am doing this now this is the license i selected and see the, the this link is generated now simply i need to just copy and paste and now i can publish or i uh, or same thing i want i can apply it for the youtube video so when i going to, i am going to change it here it can be taken or suppose now one thing one uh, very important thing you need to remember that the content material should be published somewhere or you you wish to publish somewhere when you are publishing online or offline then only you can have this this creative common licensing otherwise you cannot you don't need to take the creative common license unless it is it is published so whether it should be published online or offline that can be anywhere but it should be published or you supposed to publish it somewhere suppose uh, this is my one research article and i want to publish it somewhere but i have not published at it i just want to publish it maybe after one uh, one month or two, two weeks or three weeks what simply i can do i can just simply take the license i will answer the question and to uh, the answer of two questions i will just go to here this copy i will link this copy so this copied uh, link and then i will simply paste over here and whenever then i will publish this paper somewhere then when i am sending to uh, for publication then only in the, in that description i will just simply cut from here and paste there so i will remember that what license i have take remember this link should not should not be the part of the research paper it should be the part of the description when you are going to upload the uh, the research paper somewhere or you are sending it to some uh, uh, journals and then you want to get this license then you need to send it in the description part not as a part of the research paper so in this way it's very simple process just two minutes process go to creative common website what we do 
then create a common license then see the type of the various license i have explained it in part one and then create a common license user when you are coming over here just answer this question remember it are you allowing them to for adoption and are you giving them the permission for the commercialization you will select any license yes no you will find this uh, licensing are changing how i change the answer question right see this license features are changing and how it's changing according to that this license i have selected and this license copy has been created over here simply just copy it and paste it to the your description of research or your e-learning material that you are going to publish or you have published already suppose you already published somewhere suppose i have uploaded already a video and i don't uh, adopted the cc license at that time but now even i can change it see on youtube when you are making a channel and we are uploading the video at that time they ask you for the two uh, two license youtube standard license or creative common license if you want to make your copyright free then you can select creative common attribute if you want to keep your copyright for that video then you can select standard youtube license standard youtube license keep your all rights with you creative common liberate your copyright from that video so remember uh, whenever you want to publish anything in that description or somewhere else just paste this link which is created or generated by this site so it's very simple process just two minutes process just use it at the licensing and uh, encourage the open learning resources around the world thank you